Uh, welcome back to YC. It's called the Great Resignation and the Great Relocation. Lots of families are uprooting, quitting their jobs, and moving to new areas. And of course, that may be new, new schools, new doctors, and all of that. But what about your medical records? You need to have an easy way to have access at your fingertips to all of your medical records. That's why we're joined by Dr. Paul Burens with SyncMD. He's the chief medical officer over there at the healthcare division of SyncMD. Dr. Burens, always good to see you. Well, it's good to see you, Jamarcus. Thanks for uh, being with me today. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about this. Everyone's seen it probably on lots of publications, lots of news outlets saying the great resignation and the great relocation. How does that factor into having access to your medical records? Well, I don't know if you've ever tried to get your medical records, but it's not exactly an easy process. I think for most people, it's a mystery. Uh, they have to uh, contact their doctor, contact their hospital. Um, they often get told uh, that it'll be weeks before they can get their records, and uh, oftentimes they arrive on paper. Uh, and, uh, you know, with snail mail, uh, you'd rather have an electronic copy, really. So uh, I think the SyncMD allows people to uh, get access, but then that once they have that access, it's with them permanently. They, uh, they should have no trouble with losing things because they're uh, working with a system that allows you to obtain manage and control your vital records. You have secure asymmetrical encryption. That means that your records are locked up and only you have the key. Nobody else can get in there. They're mobile, with, just like you are. If you've moved, relocated, your records are with you because they're stored in the cloud and you can access them anywhere in the world, anytime, 24 uh, seven, and they're personal. They're not, nobody else can get in them. They're your own records. You're the only person who can get in there. People power of attorney for health care or your living will. I mean, it's, it's yours. You can store whatever you want in it. And I think that's important to bring up the privacy issue because that is a major concern with every, anyone that has anything that has a digital in, imprint to it is how safe is it going to be. So thank you for pointing out that fact out that it's, uh, it's mobile, but it's also uh, very safe. You guys have gone through measures to make sure that those records are safe. Uh, of course, everyone's talking about back to school right now and kids going back to school. Uh, that it's an important to be able to have access to your records in that in that uh, arena as well. Yeah, it's important. It uh, doesn't mean most people have access to them. Uh, most folks don't get access until they need it. And when they try to get it, then it's too hard to get. You wait until you're sick and it's just a little bit late because now you're trying to get them in an emergency situation. And I hope you've never been in an emergency, DeMarcus, but when you walk into an emergency room in a new location, they don't know you from Adam. They don't have a thing on you. And if you're not in your own healthcare system, they can't pull you up on the computer and find out anything. They have to start from scratch. With SyncMD, they can start from everything that's already known about you. And luckily, I haven't had to be in any any medical situation like that or in, in an emergency where I've needed that. But I definitely now know, you know, what I need to do to be able to have access and control uh, over my medical records. So SyncMD is really easy to download and really, really easy to have access to. But you want to do that before you need to have them. You need to be able to be proactive instead of reactive in, in that situation. Uh, so, of course, everyone thinks about, you know, medical and dental records. What other types of records should... Uh, d does SyncMD help folks uh, have access to? You know, uh, this wasn't very intuitive. It didn't even dawn on me right away. And I'm, I'm very familiar with the program. I've been working with them for seven years. But I did some foreign travel. And when I went abroad, you know, uh, the first thing you, th you worry about is, what if you get robbed? What if somebody picks your pocket? You know, you're going to lose your credit cards? Well, <laughs> I have a picture of my credit card stored on SyncMD. I have a photograph of my passport stored on SyncMD. I have a photograph of my driver's license stored on SyncMD. If somebody steals my phone that has all these things on it, here's a secret. They're not actually on the phone. They're stored on the cloud. You can get them from the internet on any computer, anywhere, anytime. And because they're yours, nobody else can get in there. You, only you have the way to get in. So it's password protected, but it's deeper than that. It, it's only stored individually. I, I don't know about you, but have you ever been notified by mail that your database was hacked because you lost your uh, personal information at uh, your... For me, I, I've, I've been notified multiple times that my data has been breached. 
First, it was my insurance company. My health insurance company got hacked. <laughs> Target got hacked. Equifax uh, got hacked. You know, all, all these people, they lose your personal data, but you can't be done with ZincMD. Nobody even could figure out how to do it. And if they did, they'd have to steal your phone, get into your stuff, and then, and then uh, break in. And what would they get? They'd get your stuff. Jamarcus, I don't think your stuff is interesting to a hacker. <laughs> it definitely is not. I can I can attest to that. They, they won't find anything of value in there. And uh, I'm glad you pointed out the credit card, uh, the passport, all of that stuff when folks are, are traveling that you would never think about having um, access to other than the physical uh, physical copies of it. So uh, that's an important thing to, to point out. Um, so folks that are listening to this said, hey, you know, I really want access. I want to have control over my information. Uh, how easy is SyncMD to to uh, to use? Where do I get started? How do I how do I get my my information? Well, I I think it's fairly amazing. You know, the hospital where we started with it uh, put SyncMD's name on their web page where people are seeking their medical records, and just with the name sitting there and a hyperlink to SyncMD, six out of ten people asking for electronic records get them through SyncMD just because the name's there because of this. It answers this question. What would you like to have? A bundle of paper or an electronic copy on your phone? <laughs> I want the app. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I've interviewed a whole lot of patients, and every single one of them said they'd like to have the electronic app rather than a bundle of paper. There's <laughs> there are no exceptions, but the system, healthcare system, is very conservative and wants to keep things the way they've been. They're very concerned about quality and they're not that interested in doing this, but consumers are. And, you know, it's your records. They don't belong to somebody else. Legally, they're yours. You have a right to them and you have a right to get your records within 30 days. It's all written into the rules. So if, if they're not showing up, you have right to complain. Such great information. And, and the web address is on your screen. You can download uh, SyncMD just like you do any, any other app. And of course, that website is full of information with about questions and frequently asked questions that you may have as you're going through this process. Dr. Burens, thank you so much for always breaking down uh, in, in real talk terms that we can understand of why this is so important to have this app and how it can make your life uh, dramatically uh, safer, easier, and better. Uh, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Uh, SyncMD, the website is on your screen. Thank you so much. Marcus, so much, so nice to talk to you. Thank you very much.